Hi everyone, it's Chloe from Bullet Journal by Chloe and today I'm going to show you how to crochet a journal pouch for your journal. So you are going to need some kind of wool or yarn. I've gone for, it's a slightly thicker one, it's quite fluffy, it's quite nice in texture. So I've gone for this one. You're going to need a crochet hook. I've gone for a thicker crochet hook because I've gone for a thicker wool and the size journal that you would like to make your pouch for. So this is a A5 journal and that's the size I'm going to be making it for today. So to start off with, I'm going to make a slip knot. So I'm going to twist, make like a, like a ribbon bow shape. Then I'm going to hook it over and pull it through to make a slip knot. And you want to make it the size of your first loop size you want that loop to be and you just pull on the towel to adjust it now I'm going to get my crochet hook insert it in the hole and move this little piece that's not attached to the ball out of the way so now what I'm going to do pull it back a little bit so you've got some space so this is the way I like to do it so if you crochet already and um, you have different ways of doing it stick to how you like to do it but this is how I like to crochet so I'm going to loop round, grab the bottom, turn my hook and pull it through. So I've made a chain. I've now got one, two on my chain. Again, pull it round. I'm holding it at the bottom to create some tension. Pull it through. That's three, four, five, six. Now you want to make sure that you're keeping the same tension each time. I am recycling this wool. Um, it was on a different pouch that I'd made. That's why there is a little bit of missing there, the fluff there. So um, yeah, you want to make sure that you're keeping the same tension and keeping the same amount that's on each loop. Uh, what was that? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. I'm going to stop there. So I've got 15 on my chain at the moment. So now I'm just going to see in comparison to the side of my notebook how that fits. Now you need to remember um, one error I made with this before when I made one of these is I made my chain the exact same length as my journal and it meant that the pouch was too loose. It didn't fit um, snugly enough. So this time I'm going to make the chain. That's still a little bit too small. But I'm going to make the chain just slightly shorter. So probably about to there. Yeah, I think I'm going to go there. So I'm at 15 at the moment. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so that's a about the same length now so you can keep it that size if you wanted to use I don't know this pouch to put your journal in and some stickers or you've got some other bits that you want to put in there with some pens maybe this would be a good size because it would allow you some room around the journal as well to be able to fit some other bits in so I'm going to take a few off my hook because I want it a bit smaller so I'm just going to take my hook off I'm going to pull one out and let's go two out and check that. Okay, so I've taken off two. So that will leave me with 18. Let's have a look now. How do I feel about that? Okay, so that will be on the end once it's attached. And if I pull it, yeah, I think that's about the right size. So I'm gonna go for 18. We'll see. 
if it's any different, I'll pop up on the screen how many stitches you should actually do for your chain. So now I'm going to turn it on its side. Turn it on its side so you can see where the chain starts. Okay, I'm looking for the first hole. So I'm not going to go back into where my ball is actually attached to. I'm going to go into the first hole that I can see, which is here. So I'm going to insert my hook into there. I'm going to loop the wall around my hook and pull it over just once. Now I've got two loops left. I'm going to loop that again and I'm going to pull it through the first two like that. Okay, so now that is my first stitch. Now, you do have to keep moulding this because it does, because it is a big hook, the gaps in between are quite large. So you do have to keep moulding it and looking for those gaps. So now I'm going to go into the next gap, which is here. Loop round once, pull that over the top, loop round again. And this time I'm going to pull both through like so. Then readjust my chain and find the next gap in there. Loop it round, pull that one over, loop it around again, and this time pull two through. Readjust my chain. Okay, you're going to complete this process all the way down your chain. So in the hole, loop, pull one over loop then you're going to pull two over and you can see that's starting to make shape so i'm going to go ahead and quickly finish off down here and then show you what to do next okay so i've just done the first row and there you have it okay as we start adding more above it these gaps will start coming apart and it will make a really nice pattern so if i just check against my journal again so I put it right to the edge, hang it over a little bit. Okay, you can see at the minute that doesn't look big enough. But once we attach the two sides and it pulls quite nicely, you'll get the nice little gaps in between. So you'll be able to see the pink of the journal as well. And there we go. Okay. If we do it any bigger, it's going to be quite a loose fit. But I I want quite a tight fit. So now I've done that. Before I start my next row, I'm going to chain one. So loop it round and pull it through. Now, because I'm doing a double crochet, I need that chain to help create the height for the next line. So I'm going to flip it round and start on the next side. So now I'm looking for the little gaps. That little gap there, put my hook into that. And I'm going to repeat the same process that I did on the first row's hook round. Pull it through both hook and pull it through find the next gap hook it through so can you see i've got three on there i'm going to hook that round pull two over so i'm left with two hook it round and pull those two through move on to the next one find the gap insert my hook loop it round pull through two loop it round pull through two into the next gap and I'm going to keep going with this process all the way along this row finding the gap looping my hook putting my hook into the the gap and looping through into the gap loop hook it over loop hook it over now you can see that pattern is starting to take shape okay now this is a really quick and easy way of crocheting a little pouch for your journal. It's that quick and easy, you can do it in one sitting, like I am today. I'm going to sit here and do this in one go. Now you can do this for all different kinds of sizes. You can um, trial and error with things. It's all about that chain at the beginning, depending on how many... Um, slip notch that you do on your chain will depend on 
how big you want your journal pouch to be. So as you can see, I'm just working my way down this line. Now I'm starting to get to the end. I'm going to keep going all the way to the last gap, which is this last little window here on the end. Okay, now I have finished the whole row. I have to remember one chain. Okay, so now let's have a look. This is how my pattern is looking at the minute. Quite nice, isn't it? So now I'm going to turn it around onto the other side and work back into the gaps. Okay, so I have done up to the point of where I want to stop, um, and I think this should be the right length. So the way I'm going to check, remember I want mine to be quite snug so it is going to pull a little bit. So I'm going to lay it just up to there because I want the edge to hang out a little bit. I don't want it to be completely over. And I'm going to pull round onto the other side and check. So I think that is about the right length that I want it to be. So now I've got to the side. Now I need to create this rectangle into the pouch. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to fold it in half. Really simple. Fold it in half. That is it. Now we need to sew up the sides. So I'm going to carry on with the side that I've already got. Put them together. Make sure I've got that coming through. Now, to add these two bits together, you want to try and find two holes and push your needle through, your crochet hook through, sorry. Loop, loop again. And now I'm going to find another hole to pull through. So I'm trying to find all the places that I can connect it together down the side to make sure that this stays secure. So I'm going to go in. It's quite tricky to find the holes. I'm going to go in there. And I'm going to do this all the way down to the bottom. When I get to the bottom, I'm going to fasten it off. I'm going to tie it off. And then I'm going to, with a new piece of wool, down the other side, I am going to crochet that side together using the same method that I've done here. Okay, I'm just finishing up the other side now. I've got off an extra bit of wool and started crocheting down the side. Okay, now I've got to the bottom, I'm going to cut that there, I'm going to loop that round, pull it through, loop that, and then tuck that round. So that's going to pull tight into a nice knot and then trim it. Okay, so now I've got my pouch, I'm going to turn it round inside out and push out the corners. Okay, the moment of truth. Did I make the right size? So I've just stretching it out a little bit can you see that pattern like i said at the beginning once you start adding those rows it starts pulling them holes and the gaps apart it looks really nice so let's see i'm 
Oh, I think it's going to fit. Lovely. Okay. Let's just make sure it's all sitting around nice. Okay, and there we have it. This is, this one's definitely a, um, a bit tighter than the one I've done before. But there you have it. That is how to crochet your own journal cover. So you can do this with any kind of size crochet hook. You can do it with a smaller wall, thinner wall, um, which will make these a lot thinner and tighter. You can make this so it's baggier, so you'd be able to pop stuff in it. It's completely up to you. You might even want to add a fastening here. You might want to add a latch or a button to hold it together. But there you have it. That is how to make a crochet journal pouch. See you again soon guys. Bye!